Good morning, I'm Higher Vibrations and so are you. And I haven't done an Ascension Symptom video for a while and I actually have been recording them. It's simply that I just, I've been so, this time slippage stuff has been really difficult for a lot of us. And I just, I, I've never got, I never get around to editing my videos until, I don't know, they just seem old after it's been a few days. So anyway, here we are. Lots of ear ringing, lots of, Lots of hot, cold flashes, like the, the, the temperature shifting is just intense. It's very bizarre. Um, the sleepless nights, uh, you know, it, it's due to a couple different things. For me, it's that I am awake. I'm awake, awoken every couple of hours with some kind of profound new understanding that's come in through my astral slash dream experience. And that's been really disruptive. And then there, all, then on top of that, there's this weird childlike experience I'm having with sleep where it's like, I kind of don't want to go to bed for some reason when I finally can after a full day of exhaustion, finally bedtime is here and I am awake. I don't know what it is, but it's been really difficult. On top of that, we're working in our sleep space. We're doing all kinds of astral stuff, energy stuff while we're in our dream time experience. And so it's not as restful as it used to be sleep. Um, you know, there's a lot of diet stuff changing for me again, too. I mean, I don't think it stopped. This has been several years that I've, I've slowly one thing at a time gone from a full on carnivore, processed food, canned drinks person to, you know, I'm, I'm basically a vegan now. It's just that slowly one thing at a time, my body had helped me identify things that it didn't want or that wasn't, well, that wasn't serving us, you know? And so, um, that's changed for a while. I go through these periods of un- unplanned fasting that can go on for 20 to 30 days and in, in a, a certain occasions, you know, and uh, typically I, 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 I do what's called intermittent fasting and I'm not eating for an 18 hour period of time, you know, and, and that's not on purpose either. It's simply how many of us have been taught that we need to eat breakfast, that we need to eat lunch, that we need to eat dinner. And these are the times to do it. And you all sit around and you do this thing and it's like a ritual and everyone participates and and I didn't really that was just how it was supposed to be but I've never cared for breakfast and I finally started to listen to my body and give it myself permission to not eat that um that meal that I'd eat at that time of the day and it's slowly evolved to I don't eat lunch either you know and it's simply that my body doesn't want it there are days though I go through these periods of of like I'm I wake up hungry It's just not very, very often. Um, And so when I'm, if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. Needing a lot, a lot of water, a lot of water. Joints are out of the, off the hook right now. The the shoulders and neck and knee and hip and wrists and ankles. Everybody's got their, their specific joint area right now that we've been talking about on these Zoom meetings that we do every week which by the way are typically every Sunday and Tuesday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I always put up a a short right before at least I try to do about a day before. Um, And then that the link to the the, that meeting is in in the description as well as in the comments. I will put to this week's link here. Please feel free to join us. It's free and we don't record it or air it. But through those calls, I find a lot of validation and the the joint discomfort has been a thing for a lot of us um as we've been having these different chakra activations it, it feels like that to me that that level of discomfort it's not painful it's uncomfortable and it's simply it feels like at this point it's almost like that there's an energy like those are energy spots that are just kind of like Everything gets caught in the corner, right? Like when you're smudging your house and when you're doing any kind of energy clearing, it's always in the corners. The sharp turns are where things get stuck, you know, the, and so in those places of our joints, there's a lot of, of that's where we are healing and moving all this energy up and through us and out. And now we're able to actually notice it when it's there 
And so those are the areas that we're, we're working on and healing right now. Meditation, water, spend time in, in, in nature as much as possible. These things will help, but they don't make it go completely away. Another solution for if you're having too many chaotic ascension symptoms and you need a little bit of a break or perhaps just just a, a little less intense for a, t a short time, I find that I can just ask for that and that happens. Uh, visualization is really important for me in my experience. So I visualize like an old school like radio dial and I just like dial it down you know, let's say it's up to 100. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to go down to 42 for a while. You know, maybe 10. But I I, I don't want to turn it off. I, I'm excited to be on this journey. And I'm so honored to be part of this with all of you. And, and at this beautiful time, this big awakening that's occurring is so emotional for me. It is so beautiful and so precious. And so in the meantime, we're going to be working on some some struggles, you know, I mean, like the dizziness is back, but it's like a swirliness, like your feet aren't quite touching the ground, this swirly energy of it just like we're trying to find our bearings or something. And and, and I, 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 I sense a reprieve coming up, which is beautiful. It's like you're taking a recess. You know, we've had like five of them over the past couple of years now, and this is one coming. And I feel it, you know, so you will get time to rest. Please do when this comes. It should be within like a few days, I suspect. We're going to start to notice that it's going to feel calm for a bit. And that's time to take care of yourself. Get the sleep that you can if possible. Spend time in nature if you can. If you can't go into nature, try to bring some home with you. Have a potted plant. Bring dirt just to play with. It's so helpful. You know, we're going to still be feeling this vibration. We're still going to have these weird, weird, crazy headaches and temple activation and back of the head stuff. And just like everything's popping like like Rice Krispies or something, you know, like everything is is shifting and moving right now as we evolve into something. Something more in alignment with who we truly are. And we're making it. And I know it's hard. And I know that it's, it, you need a break. But just please know one's coming. And I'm so proud of you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for all of your hard work. And if you feel alone, if you feel separate in any way, please join us. It's, it's free. I, you know, it's just a bunch of, a bunch of awakening people that go to these Zoom meetings and just talk. It's really cool to see how many countries are represented. Represented that every every time. It's just beautiful. I love you all. You got this. Don't give up. We're there. I am sending you so much love. Aho blessings.